Hello, and welcome to your Dengeki Bunko Fighting Climax Ignition Top 4 at Frosty Faustings 15. Hi. I'm Estrell, and I'm, this is Maiden. I'm Maiden, hi. And we'll be your commentators for this Top 4. So we'll be starting on Winner's Side for Winner's Finals with Tenshi and Lunar. Uh, so Tenshi kind of being what I would consider an old guard in this game, been around since the very beginning of this game. Lunar kind of... Lunar's on the new side. Yeah, on the new side. He started actually after me. Yeah. yeah but so he's strong in games like Type Lumina. Exactly. Been he's a huge undernight and Melky play. Fundamentally very strong in Type Moon games. So we will see how this... It seems out. we're hopping straight into it. Are they? I'm not sure if we're getting a button check or not. I think we're going to get a button check. This... Seems like a button check. Definitely a button check. Unless. But both players have Unless. been playing Iria quite a lot lately. One of the best assists in the game, so it makes sense. Okay, I don't think I don't think this is actually check. a button check. Hold <laughs> okay, on. Okay, I think they've gone right into it. <laughs> I think they've gone straight in. Anyways. Tenshi's a very Passive player, generally. Yes. yes, definitely very passive. That is, throughout Climax, Rain actually pointed out that Tenshi's game plan is generally to let you burn your resources yeah. and then punish you for that. And I think that's something he's been working on a little bit recently as well, um, just being a little bit too passive at times. So we're probably going to see him be a little bit more aggressive. See a more aggressive around. Tenshi, which <laughs> puts him more in Lunar's territory. <laughs> Luna doesn't block, uh -huh. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I said this at Climax, Luna does... <laughs> Luna does not want to block. Luna always wants to be on the offense. So with a passive player like Tenchi, it's... You take... You lose the first round. <laughs> Tenchi also recently picking up Yuki, uh, who... He's usually been an Asuna player, but as of this climax, he has picked up pretty much one of the best teams in the game. Yeah, Yuki, Yuki Iria, Iria. Prob top three, arguably top one. Yeah, yeah, definitely. He wants more power, and <laughs> we're seeing him exert that power right now. <laughs> Iria's just a really strong assist that goes well with pretty much every character. And Yuki is such a good character. <laughs> a little bit too good. We're seeing where Iria really shines through Luna's Tiger right now at the moment. <laughs> if you're unfamiliar with Iria assists, there's three bowl stacks, and when you get three stacks, it causes that explosion that happened. Mm -hmm. Yuki's really strong at causing cross-up break during that, mm -hmm. making that a very scary state to fall into. And Tenshi is gonna take the first game. Seems Luna's getting a bit more on the passive side. Mm -hmm. Not quite used to seeing Luna play like that. <laughs> no character changes, no assist changes. Straight back in. And since this is winner's final, it will be first to three. Oh yeah, you're right. I forgot. Yuki JC, very ignorant button. Just dominating Tenchi the Tenshi holding on to Power Blast. <laughs> Actually, no. 214 EX into Power Blast. Feeling each other out here, but Yuki has some giant normals, so. Tenchi trying to get that third stab. Mm -hmm. Not finding a good time to do it, but keeping Luna from building a. And, and there's the third stat. The ignorant JC catching Luna out. Luna's playing very passive right now. Not anymore. Not anymore, no. I so take it all back. Commentator's curse. Red Trump as soon as you say it. <laughs> Oh, 
Ooh, you're getting Ooh. hit by the motorcycle. And that's the second part of area assist. Mm -hmm. It calls from the other side of the screen, and it's really good for catching out buttons if you go onto the defensive. Mm. Tenshi on his second plate here. We're about to see We're about a to see time a out. <laughs> Unless? No, it's no, definitely it's a timeout. <laughs> Luna just didn't have enough meter to work with to bring Tenshi below his health. Ooh, armor clash reaction. Going to blue trump. Ball, easy to break cross-up protection with Yuki. Yuki's blue trump makes it easier to aerial drift and just keep control as you gain access to jump canceling all of your specials. She's super impressive. You get a third jump. Just gonna throw out the raw trunk here and hope it hits, but it does I not. think Luna's trying to get air unblockable setups with that bowl. Mm -hmm. He's always approaching on bowl hits. Oh! Oh, and what? he jumps straight over Yuki 2AB. He has quite a bit of meter to work with. He can take Kenji to the quarter, hit the plate, come in. Just her. One more plate for Luna. Tenchi really keeping an eye out for Area 6S, mm -hmm. being sure to play around it and get more aggressive when Area's down. Up oh. his third stack, and that catches Luna out. He's forced to escape Blast. His Blast will probably not be back up this round. Don't think it will. No. Oh, this 2 AB is... into blue trunk oh. but the plate keeps Luna safe. And what? Area That's 6 S. Such a good option. <laughs> and that'll be the second game for Tenchi. One more, and he's. Luna Are we going to see any changes from Luna? I know he plays other assists. I've mm -hmm. seen him play zero before. Doesn't he also have a pocket Kuryuki Hime? Kuryuki Hime used to be his main. Okay. Around Is... Climax 2 or 3? Is he going to do it? Have a... <gasps> and we're going to see He's that Kuryuki Hime come out. <laughs> I'm very interested to see how this works out for him. Kuryuki Hime could easily slow the game down Definitely. and keep Yuki from just pressing. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's going to first force a blue trump scenario every time. And Yuki's going to have to blow those resources to get in and stay in. Good power blast. He's definitely going to be able to play a lot more passively this time around. Going to green mode. I actually don't know much about Kuroyuki Hime's different <laughs> mode. Yeah, same. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> this character isn't that common. <laughs> I think the one that people usually go for is it's red or blue. So I'm surprised. It's green. green. <laughs> it's green. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We have Mouse out in the audience letting us know that it is in fact greed. Good throw, forcing a Ooh. throw tech scenario also stops serious success. Third plate. Probably try to get a grab there, but... Kuryuki Hime is doing a good job at slowing down the game and making Yuki have to try and get in. It's this forcing mistakes from Tenshi. The change that he needed. What's interesting too is if he does take this, we might see Tenshi change. We might see his a Tenshi change too, too Asuna awesome, probably. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That was a good bait on the KYH counter, using the plate, knowing Ooh. that it's coming. Mother's Rosario, not quite enough. No. One more confirmed, though, for the round, and a throw Perfect. will take that. Probably ignite that blast so you can use it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Both players coming in with full blast and full trump cards, which is 
find where you want to be in this final round. Really great in the final round. Luna was just slightly ahead with almost full meter. Uh huh. But double trump is having both trumps is very strong very as you can. Crucial, yeah. Even if Tenchi doesn't finish it in one bout of pressure, there's another set of Yuki pressure coming out. And the Yuki blenders. A probably scary scarier. <laughs> scarier than the Yukina blender just for the fact that it lasts. Mm -hmm. Luna is a little bit of OTG. Good power blast. Eerie success, actually. Ooh. And the grab takes it. And Tenshi will be moving on to Grand Finals. Yes. Good showing by both players. But Luna is far from out. Luna's going to be in Losers Finals and will be facing off against the winner of Clash Mech or Me versus Mouse. Mouse. Yeah. You'll have to fight through each other and Luna for a chance at Tenshi. <laughs> And all of these players are so strong that it could really be any of their games. All of them are going to be good games. Mm -hmm. We actually, through Clash Mech, have a character we normally don't see. Akira, considered one of the lowest tier characters in the game. But you wouldn't, you wouldn't think that when you, you see Clash play. He is, Clash makes that character work. He makes me want to play Akira a little <laughs> bit sometimes, if I'm being honest. <laughs> yeah. He I, makes him look so strong. He's so good with yeah, it. Yeah, combo breaker. He he was the people's champ because of Akira. Yeah, he's he's probably the only NA player who is actively playing Akira. Right? He might actually be the only active Akira player. In the world. I don't <laughs> think there's an active Japanese Akira. Yeah, I don't think so. He might be right. And he's really holding it down. I mean, he he's, makes He's him. holding it down. It, <laughs> He like makes we said, it look like a the only guy action. that makes that character work a little bit. <laughs> and we're going to see him uh, right now up against Mouse, who plays Tomoka, who is definitely not a bottom tier character. A very the strong character. set play character. The set play very character. Very messed up. <laughs> you can ask a Tomoka player how to block Tomoka, and they'll exactly. actually just tell you, I have I no don't know. <laughs> We've asked Tama before. We've asked Tama. And he's like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> just pray. Guess. <laughs> I don't even know where it's going to hit. <laughs> <laughs> And we're gonna see button check. I really love this too because Mouse is cosplaying Linne and uh, Clash is not cosplaying, but he is so into yeah. Akira that he does he all is, of the mannerisms. He is, uh, he he is Akira. He is. <laughs> he's not cosplaying physically, he's cosplaying Come spiritually. spiritually. <laughs> Just like Akira would want. Exactly. <laughs> he lives for the thrill of battle. <laughs> And I live for the thrill of seeing him act it out. <laughs> this is so exciting. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna we're gonna see Akira on the court Let's with go. little LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> and Clash runs a very unique assist for Akira. Like, oh, yeah. I would I wouldn't expect Wilhelmina to be used with Akira, but yeah. He finds specific situations, he forces you into them, mm -hmm. and you have to respect. <laughs> and I love that he's dedicated yeah. so much to this character and to learn this team yeah. that is not something that anyone plays. He's really created this team from the ground up. And he's really good at getting in despite not, not having that. great mobility options. Uh -huh. Clash has made not having a dash work mm -hmm. through his 6-6-B. He uses that as a very solid poke. He's and you can see it here. Ooh. He's calling everything out at the moment. Uh -huh. Just dominating the game. Very clean. Mm -hmm. One thing Clash has is amazing offense. Very strong, clean offense. Every button he press has meaning. Mm -hmm. 
Just that is Wilhelmina being used just to create a small gap that's going to force Mouse to press and take a little bit of damage for it. Good use of that Power Blast to escape the Ice Basket. Mouse looking for small openings, mm -hmm. just trying to get a little bit of poke. He's not able to set up anything. Exactly. He hasn't been able to get a solid knockdown this round. Just a few stray hits, and there Mouse goes. Mouse is going to get something off of it. Push forward. Just blocking everything and punishing on it. Good throw tech and clash, clash his nose. Good back dash. And he doesn't ah. challenge. He expects the combo block. And that's going to be it. And that's going to be and game one. There see. <laughs> A very clean and dominant game one by Clash. Mouse is going to have to change up a little bit if he wants to take Clash out. Mm -hmm. It's really going to be an uphill battle for him because he's constantly in his face. Clash is constantly. And this is definitely face. a character that Mouse does not know how to fight. Uh, yeah, no. I mean, not many people do. The only person you get practice against is Clash. I mean, Clash <laughs> is getting more practice. It's even the corner of my eye yeah. doing the move. <laughs> If Clash ends with the super, I request that we get a player camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Clash is very entertaining to watch both in game and, and out, out of game. game. <laughs> Quickly becoming the people's champ after that crossbar breaker placement. <laughs> oh. Mouse getting a bit more aggressive for those low sweeps. Good. Escape having blast. to escape blast. Clash thinks he can take the route, Ooh, and he, and he can. can! He's definitely going to want to ignite this blast now. He's definitely igniting that blast. Mm -hmm. Because he ignites that, it is off Escape Blast cooldown and back to normal cooldown. <laughs> and Escape Blast cooldown is a very long time. If you Escape Blast, you expect to not use your blast again that round. Yeah. Ooh, the Tomica Blender! Ooh, that is... Fight. From Tomoka to the corner, Power Blast, build resources. Clash is sitting at 5 meter, a trump. And if he win, if he loses this round, he's going to have both red trumps back. Oh yeah. And this is a scary place to be. If you're against Tomoka, you don't want to be in this corner. I think it's actually just death. Yeah, this is death. Yeah. This is where you pray. This is where you put your hands together this is and where, pray. This is where a Tomica player will not know how they're supposed to block it either. <laughs> oh, just missed the punish on that blast. Calling out the, the b-ball call. Going under, realizing Clash was blocking, so he just decides, I'm going to reset it to neutral. I'll take my chances. Clash at life disadvantage, but he does have the resource advantage here, which is going to help him out. Mouse is playing around, not letting Clash be in at all. <laughs> Mouse is willing to give up ground to Clash out. <laughs> He's completely changed from his aggressive set play nature to oh, playing around Clash and that combo blast conversion. Oh. He has a combo blast. The scaling was harsh, but you need everything you can get in a scenario like this. Clash dancing around Mouse. Oh my. He's sitting on blast. He's waiting. He's oh. Out, and there was the time to use it. Oh! <gasps> he doesn't convert. <laughs> oh, combo blast to make that save and the oh, low sweep. Gosh. One one. <laughs> the time coming down so close at the end there too. You know they were doing anything they could to just get that life advantage. <laughs> And you see Clash <laughs> pumping himself up. 
the spirit of Akira goes through him. <laughs> and, and it's working. <laughs> Mouse isn't gonna stop balling. Interesting trade. Four A B losing armor right before hit. Ooh, punishing Ooh, the four AB. Punish. That was a bit too far away. Hard knockdown, Wilhelmina. Oh, putting himself putting in, the in the corner. Putting himself in the corner. Seems to know what good. he's doing, though. Huh? And he was He fine. trumps it once. He realizes using one trump if he loses round two, which is generally the money-making round. Mm -hmm. You generally don't spend heavy resources unless you can win in round two. Exactly. He will get his red trump back. <laughs> Mouse putting him right where he wants him, right in the corner. And this the is the Blender! Oh, I hate it. <laughs> Fireball. Oh, oh those fireworks I didn't are block that. So difficult to block. Oh, this oh. is gonna be a perfect for Mouse. But like you mentioned before, Clash is gonna be getting his red trump back, so he's coming into this round with two trumps and a lot of meter. Mouse, however, did not need to blow a lot of resources that second round, so this Mouse is, is going in fairly good. Well, yeah, and he's got him back where right he wants him. Right back in the Tomica Blender. Those fire. You don't want to jump into that ice goal. Yeah, you do not. But he's making his way out, and... He's cashing out as much as he can. Mm -hmm. He's probably about to go for a Power Blast setup. I would love to see... Oh, Trump. Oh, Trump. Oh, he has blast. to use that Escape Blast. Ooh. Clash is getting a little bit worried. You can tell he's jumping a bit more. He's putting himself in more situations that he shouldn't be. Woo! And the red trump through! <laughs> he still has another one. Oh my gosh. A little bit oh, of OTG. So oh. Makes, makes the DP into combo blast. Oh! Oh! oh and, and the OTG it. to take it! <laughs> I don't this is loser's semi, so it should not be, be first, to first to two. three. It should be first to two. He doesn't even realize that. He's just won. What but a Clash, <laughs> Clash will be fighting Lunar. Oh, here we go. Clash doesn't have that many tournament results behind his name. This and is true, but Clash is but Clash very is active. Very active. Member. He's 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 playing a lot. He's actively asking questions about his play. And he's also one of the newer players too. But in the past year or two, in the past that he's been year. Playing, He's, he's been, he's been growing so exponentially. Yeah. If he's if he's able to take Luna, even even just a game, uh -huh. that's going to say a lot about how far Clash has come in a year. Yes. And if he if happens he, to beat Luna, we're going to see a rematch yeah. of a match we saw earlier in Pools, which was Tenchi versus Clash. And that was a pretty close game. That was game. a good game. That was Ten very close. That was when Tenchi had to swap to his Asuna. Exactly. So it'll be very interesting to see if that comes around to uh, fruition. But of course, Luna himself is incredibly strong. So we'll see who takes this. I think they're going straight into it. Mm -hmm. Clash making sure to take the aggressive. The red trump. Oh my gosh. Clash Wait making a lot of Clash. mistakes early. That's an overhead. You gotta watch for that. Mm -hmm.
Clash playing very passive, trying to build as much blast as he can back. Yeah, you definitely want to be very passive in a situation like this when you accidentally used your escape blast round one so quickly. It's not a good position to be in. You at least want that 50%, so when you blast it, it comes back exactly. to ignite. Ooh, Ooh, good punish. Forcing Luna to escape last this late into the round, and the Wilhelmina and catches out, but he doesn't convert off of that. Oh, gets hit with the Luna catching trump. the jump with the red trump. Here he success, oh. and he catches class. Building up a lot of that blast back, though, in that match, and he's choosing not to Clash ignite it. Clash doesn't ignite his blast. Which, understandable, it's 91%, so it's pretty close to coming back. Power Blast set up, building up to 5 meter, definitely. Which he definitely needs after that last round. Three stacks. Not getting, hit by the Not getting anything Not. off of the plate. Doesn't hit the air unblockable. He had Luna exactly where he needed him. Jumping Good back. Jump back. <laughs> Knockdown combo Ooh. blast, and he held forward again. I noticed him making that mistake a few yeah, times. he did that at pools earlier, too. Unfortunately, when you combo blast and hold forward, they end up... They fly the across the screen, and you don't really get anything off yeah. of it. But that first game is going to Luna. Which, while we mentioned Luna was one of the newer players, he's not as new as Clash. Luna's yeah. kind of a part of that middle generation middle. of Dengeki player yeah. that I'm from and Rain is also from. <laughs> <laughs> I would say there's like three different... There's uh, three different generations. Yeah. <laughs> Luna's going back to his aggressive nature that uh -huh. he wasn't showing against Tenshi, and it's, it's, and it's working out. Cool. Yeah. Just... Oh. That sled catching out and converting off of it thanks to the plate. And Taking a perfect round one with that very impressive offense. Luna going off at the moment. Luna very quickly noticing the weaknesses in Clash's approach. Clash is changing it up just a little bit though. Hard knockdown. Nothing! Okay. With the chair, but Taiga 236 is just really strong to oppose pressure with if you're able to. Oh, that's Ooh, good not punish. You should be able to cash out and kill. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> the people's chair. <laughs> I played him in bracket at Combo Breaker, and uh -huh. every time he landed it, the full... <laughs> I gotta get like that. <laughs> this man knows every Oscar Award slide. It's actually insane. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> same, same. Ooh, oh, he keeps he's jumping getting over around there. Taiga 236 now. Mm -hmm. It's a strong option, but it's really easy to get around if you're watching for it. And Clash uh -huh. is playing more passively now to He's watch Luna. Almost baiting those out. Ooh, good back dash. Oh, oh Red Trump through area success, which Luna was not ready for. He's forced to combo blast so Wilhelmina doesn't get him killed. Ooh, this is good throw, and Clash it. takes <laughs> that back. He may have been perfected round one, but, but no, he does not care. <laughs> the heart of battle. <laughs> <laughs> and Luna's gonna keep uh, 
keep using his team. He's not going to switch to Kuryuki Hime this time around. He can, if it falls into a 2 1 scenario, he still has time to change to Kuryuki Hime if he That's kills That's true. Him. But I do think Taiga is working out. I think Taiga out is the best choice. Here. Yeah, I do think so. I think he just has to be more careful with his stabby stabs. <laughs> Oh, Clash didn't respect Iria. <laughs> Got him in the corner here, which is going to be... Uh, oh, catches the five short C. <laughs> oh, Ooh, grab it through the plate. Oh, will Helmina, Ooh. and that's going to kill. I didn't think you could convert like that. No. I was not ready for that possibility. Ooh, forcing Luna to escape blast. Very dangerous in this round two scenario. Luna needs to win this. At least, at the very least, he did ignite his blast last round, so. It will come back faster. <laughs> the air unblockable. Power blast. Clash is going to burn resources. He knows that Luna used Escape Blast. It is time to burn. Uh huh. As he Take should. this round. <laughs> if he has the resources to use, too. He has the resources to kill it. it. And this should be it. Definitely. Oh. And that's going to be 2 1 currently. Yes, 2 1. One, one more for Clash to get. Back a to rematch the with Tenchi. Rerun, yes. Are we gonna see? And Tenchi swapped to Asuna. He yes. might start with Asuna. He this might time, start with Asuna, this which time. might give Clash that time to <laughs> to look at Tenchi's Asuna yes. and work around it. That's gonna be an exciting match if that comes to fruition. Uh, I'm very excited to see what Tenchi does because he was stressed playing him. <laughs> And you can you can see the same stress Tenchi had in Luna. In Luna right now, yeah. But Luna didn't swap to Kuriyuki Hime, which is the move. Taiga is working. Yeah. He just I do needs think to make slight adjustments. This is the best decision. I think Luna's getting in his own head. He's trying too many things yeah. when he just needs to take it slow. Sometimes in a situation like this, I mean, it can just get really nerve-wracking and you start not playing. Especially with a character he does not know. Mm -hmm. One of the great advantages to playing Akira because it's just not that much experience and not that much knowledge on Akira. But he's taking it back. Ooh, wasting the red truck. Oh. oh, both of them wasting it. <laughs> Throwing the plate out, getting a bit more aggressive. Wilhelmina oh. stopping the approach. Akira lost Trump State through all of that, though. <laughs> Into the corner, getting the third fruit step. Oh, he was trying hit. to keep him in the air. Uh huh. The, the three ball Iria explosion is air unblockable. If you can keep them in the air, that's gonna... guaranteed. Mm -hmm. see some. OTG guard crush. That's a very unique trait Akira has. He oh, has, oh! He grabs the trump. And he takes it. Luna was opened up by Akira's very unique pressure where if you're standing, mm -hmm. he can just opt to crush your guard uh -huh. and his assist is able to confirm off of that very mm -hmm. easily. It does a chunk of chip mm -hmm. and the assist is going to let him just fully confirm off of it. But Clash yeah. Mech is going to be able to get a rematch at Soon Tenchi. This is going to be a good one. Uh, we saw these two play earlier in pools, which was not streamed. But uh, Tenchi came into the match, honestly, pretty nervous. Um, he did start with Yuki in the beginning. And Clash did beat his Yuki. So 
what he did was switch to Asuna. And it worked out for him in that match, but we'll see how it goes this time around because I know uh, he's, he's a little bit nervous about this one. But before we get into this match, we're gonna quickly run an ad block, take a little break. Mm. But we'll be back for Tenchi versus Clashman. Some hype match coming up soon. I simply can't wait to cut you to pieces again and again and again. Black Dahlia. Going down. Don't break. I've got a job. Yes, Time to start the party. Listen up, bunnies. This is Black Dahlia. Coming soon. The Dragon Ball Battle Hour is coming to Las Vegas on March 4th and 5th. Come see the finals for Dragon Ball Fighters, Dragon Ball Super Card Game, and Dragon Ball Legends to find out who the world champion is. Register as a spectator for free at the Star GG event page and score some original Dragon Ball goodies, like t-shirts, knapsacks, stickers, and more. Hitbox brings you new ways to take control of the game. Head over to hitboxarcade.com slash FFXV where you can order the Hitbox, Smashbox, and Crossup. Texas Showdown. With 20 tournaments on the roster for 2023, this is the event to be at if you're into anime fighters or great Houston food. Super TSB, featuring five main tournament titles. Exert, Strive, BBCF, KOF 15, and DNF Duel. Homebrew Haven, presented by Butt69 and the Moorhead FGC, with $100 pot bonuses for all games. There'll be tons of side games like Smash Ultimate, PM Remix, Skullgirls, and many more. Turning Point. Compete in Guilty Gear Strive, Tekken 7, or Super Smash Brothers, and prepare for one of the first big Street Fighter VI events of the summer. Paradise Arcade Shop, a leading source of controller innovation. The original all-button-thin controller, the first mobile fight stick app, the first short throw cherry buttons, and many other cutting-edge controller innovations. MDF Magical Defense Force is a magical girl action comedy kinetic novel featuring nine chapters of a 24-chapter story and over 500 unique art assets. Don't forget to grab your official Frosty Faustings merchandise. With styles for everyone, you can show your pride for one of Chicago's longest-running FGC events. Frosty Faustings has Macharino pages for all 25 main games, with 100% of the money going to the players. You're watching Frosty Faustings 15. Here's our schedule for today. And we, and we are back. We are back with some Dengeki Bunko fighting Climax Ignition. And we are in Grand Finals now. Getting a quick little button check. Tenchi versus Clash. Tenchi versus Clash, which uh, as I had mentioned before, the ad break, we saw this earlier in pools. And he's starting right out with Asuna. Yeah. He, Switched to Asuna in pools after losing with his Yuki, and he's jumping right into it, not wasting any time going back to Asuna, which is what got him the win against him in the first place. Is there a specific reason why his blast is set on escape? Do you know why? Wait, on wait, what? Is there any specific reason Tenchi's blast is set on escape? Yeah, that's what he uses. Oh, okay. yeah. 
We're getting right into this. <laughs> oh, good. Tenchi doesn't want Clash to make any ground. And the salty assist choice is really good at making sure that the game stays exactly how he wants it to mm -hmm. stay. Oh, oh good the clash. 4AB Clash doesn't get too much off of it. You could say a good Clash by Clash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Red Trump Clash. Good grab to escape uh, Again, Lamina. Clash is focused primarily on Celti, and that's causing him to get, get grabbed in all of these scenarios that he would otherwise not get grabbed. Mm -hmm. oh. Nice. He was trying to bait the air and blockable, but that wasn't Tenchi's objective. Yeah. He was waiting for that land. He knows Clash is patient. And Tenchi himself is a very patient player. Yes. Oh. Waiting for Clash to blow his resources, but Clash is actually opening him up. He's blowing his resources. Oh, we Ooh. love a raw trump by Asuna. <laughs> Little micro dash trump. He's in a good spot to use that because if he loses this, he will regain it back in the next round. Uh, Clash, unfortunately, won't be getting that trump back. If he blows this last red trump, which he might have to. He must? Unless he Unless? does this. Combo? Oh, oh, but he doesn't confirm. Good tech. And oh, he blows he it. He's him. trying to open him up. Both players scrambling to not lose this round. I would use my I would use my red shot. Ooh, right good throw. A little bit of OTG with Selty. Good tech. Will Helmina keeping Tenchi from getting anything? Everyone's got Celty. glass. For a B. Oh, good oh. tech again. And oh another throw. Gosh. Clash is going in with, with no, no trump. One meter. But he has blast to work with. He does have blast. But Tenchi but has both trumps. Full blast. blast. Two trumps. Uh Pretty good spot. Oh, oh he lifts he it! Back dashes the red trump. Wastes the red trump. Going for damage. Good punish. Oh, catches him low. Oh, good crap. Oh, I'm stressed. <laughs> oh, good trump. Uh, air unblockable there. And if you're viewing from home, keep in mind that Clash is coming in from loser's side, meaning that he needs to win a first to three twice. And the person who sent him to losers is Tenchi. <laughs> but he's taking that first round. He might just make He might the reset back. the bracket. <sighs> Switching characters again. Is he gonna go back to you? I don't think he is. It might just be an assist slot. <gasps> Indeed. Kuroneko. Interesting choice. Um, I think he thinks the long amount of pressure that Kuroneko can do. Mm -hmm. And the other assist with, with Kuroneko. The, the magic circle. The, Clash the is going to have to slow yes, down. Yes. Clash was very aggressive that. Mm -hmm. That actually might be, we don't see it too often. We don't see the counter, but it might work out for him and help him. First try, Kami Neko. Uh, and as we know, uh, Tenchi does cheat code and get Kami Neko pretty much all the time. He's I literally see the game short. Yeah, I see the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but as soon as you mention it, he turns it off. Yeah, no, he doesn't want to be too obvious with it. Even though it's plugged in straight up, what <laughs> one. <laughs> Using those pedals to provide a bit more pressure, giving him time to think. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, that's gonna be it. Blowing that truck. And what? That's gonna be it. Can she making sure to only blow one? Mm -hmm. As previously stated, he knows if he loses round two, he'll get it back. Round three. <gasps> and the round star oh, power so blast, cool. punished by Wilhelmina. Oh. Letting Clash build up resources of his own to work with. 
trying to run him into the corner, which he successfully Ooh, just got. jumping. Go ahead and cashing out a little bit. I'm just, I'm so, I'm enthralled by his <laughs> animation. <laughs> he is very entertaining to watch. Oh, using one red truck. He might blow the other depending on how dire this situation gets. He's, ooh, he's trying to dance around Asuna's buttons. He's not taking the offensive. Oh, ooh, have to blow have that escape blast. Good throw! That's, that's and be it. that's a good call by Tenchi. And the assist change really worked out in his favor. Will he stay the whole tournament with that? We'll see. We'll see. Both of these players can easily go back and forth with mm -hmm. each other. Tenshi obviously hoping to just take the next two cleanly so that he doesn't have to deal with the reset. Hoping. <laughs> hoping, yes. Praying. <laughs> but will that happen? Mm, we don't know. I don't think Clash has any, like, assist swaps he could swap to if yeah. this just doesn't work for him. I, I think he has to stick with what he's got uh -huh. and just try to make it work. Unless he does a Hail Mary and tries something. We're going to see Akira area. <laughs> <laughs> Do Akira salty. I want to see it. <laughs> Getting out of the corner there and putting Clash right in the corner. Oh! Love to see. <laughs> I love a good. The Asuna, Asuna special. <laughs> Just dash forward, Trump. <laughs> it is um, both an air unblockable and an overhead. And Trump State is just a very strong state to be in, so you don't even need to necessarily use it to secure the game. Clash is struggling to find where he can get in. But when he does, he, he tries to cash out as much as possible, and Tenchi stood. He got guard broke right before Wilhelmina. Ooh, push blocking right at the end to make sure Tenchi wasn't going to land first near and block the blue. Hasn't been getting any Kami Nakos lately. Uh, I think I called him out too hard. Oh! oh! He trumps in he trumps response! Trump. <laughs> and now uh, Tenchi is going to come in with one trump, and so is Clash, which. The resource game is quite equal. Pretty even, yeah. I think Tenchi's gonna save his blast for a little bit more. Yeah. Though. He's not really fiending to make any resources at the moment. Yeah, he's pretty set on that. Grabs him out of the corner. Ooh. Here he goes, building enough. Not quite. Oh, tries to grab, but that input does not matter. The throw, throwing into Wilhelmina. Because it was a throw, the oh, scaling oh. And he. Oh. And there it was. And he takes it. And now he's on a. It's 2 main 1 point. Tenchi currently. Yeah. He's on tournament point. Mm hmm. Will he take it, or will we see the bracket reset? It's a bit of an uphill battle right now for Clash, but he can definitely still do it. If anybody could do it here, it's Clash. It's Clash. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, punishes him on that assist call. Ooh, just walk up throw. <laughs> Pushing him all the way right back into that corner. Ooh! Ooh. Straight over. 
The grabs are crazy. <laughs> From both sides. Oh. And this, but Tenshi's this could be definitely it. got it in Clash's head. Uh huh. Tenshi is able to slowly approach. Mm -hmm. This is just dominate the neutral. One more round, and Tenshi wins the whole thing. A little bit of OTG two ways. Oh. Oh. Nice. Oh. Doesn't slide under enough, but you can't power blast there. The pedal. Just misses it. Oh, oh and that's it? going to be oh, it! Good Soon Tenshi is your Frosty Faustings Dengeki Brunko champion. That was so... that was close. That was a really good game by both players. Uh, I wish... I kind of wish we got to see the reset, honestly. We still got to see some great Dengeki. We did. That was... that was a lot of fun. Akira making it all the way to, to Strand. Who would have thought? He fell, sh he fell just short of that at Combo Breaker. Uh -huh. And he got to do it at Frosty's. I'm sure he's very happy with his placement. He's only gone up. Yeah. Maybe next time he'll take it. Maybe. Climax? Cli <laughs> Akira winning Climax? I'd go crazy. <laughs> go crazy. I'd be hyped for that. <laughs> I think that'd be the best outcome. It would, uh, it would be nice because you see so much of the same characters constantly dominating. You see Yuki, Shauna, Tomoka, yeah. Asuna. It would be nice to see such a lowly ranked character win the biggest tournament in North America. Well, after that, it seems next up is Toho Hitosensoku. Yes. Toho 12.3. So we'll we'll bid you farewell. Thank you for commentating with me, Maiden. Thank you for commentating with me, Pika. It, it was fun. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. Thank you guys so much for watching Dengeki Bunko, Fighting Climax Ignition. And uh, we'll see you around. Thank you for watching. <laughs>